Hi everyone, I'm Liz and this is Vera's My Bag. Um, today I'm here to um, do a video in honor of St. Patrick's Day and show you um, a lot of the green bags in my collection. Um, I've been gone for a couple of weeks. Um, I had um, a procedure done um, a couple weeks ago and have been healing. So today was the first day that I was allowed to wear um, any makeup. So I was able to put a little foundation on. Um, up until two days ago, I didn't think that um, this was going to even heal ever because it was still so purple and swollen. Um, but I crossed, I must have crossed some sort of a, a line yesterday and things started um, changing pretty quickly. So um, still um, there's uh, quite a bit of um, dryness and flaking going on. Um, here and under my eyes but i'll do a little video about that at some point my hair is a wreck because i've had it in a braid for two days and hadn't had a chance to wash it so it's just like haggy but um anyway i'm here because i wanted to i really did want to do this video for saint patrick's day so vera has um quite a bit of green um bags in um the retired patterns. Um, there's not a lot um, lately that I've seen, um, except for one, um, and I don't even know if I would really call that green. Um, but um, yeah, so I thought I would just show you what I've got and uh, just do a quick kind of, I think I've got about 12 different bags here. Um, so I thought maybe that would be entertaining uh, for today. Hopefully it's not too long and uh, hopefully I remember all the pattern names because that's usually where I get hung up is I think I have them memorized and then it's like I go to show them and it's like the last, I think it was the last video I did, I called like three, three different bags by the wrong style, the wrong um, pattern name. So um, I've got my uh, handy dandy um, iPad with my photo album of all of the retired patterns that I keep uh, so I can refer to it without having to go on the website. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, just look at what I've got. So first of all, this is, I have a bag in this, but I couldn't uh, find it real quick to pull it out. But this is um, a pattern that has obviously more than green in it, but I'm most of the, most of the bags I pulled out are um, more heavily green. Um, but some of them, you know, there's a lot of, uh, Vera does a lot of things with, with, uh, black backgrounds with green, um, green leaves. Um, but this one had a lot, uh, kind of a little bit more than most, although the, the bag itself, I don't think it does. Um, so anyway, this is Airy Floral. Um, I think this was, yeah, 2018. So there is, uh, this was a Midtown um, fabrication. The bags were Midtown fabrication and there was totes and a satchel and um, some wallets and things, I think. Um, but I have a, uh, I have a satchel, uh, kind of a si similar size of a small Vera tote. And I'll link, I did a actual, I showed this um, in a um, video, um, I think before Christmas. So I'll link that down below if you want to see um, what the um, airy uh, Midtown looked like. Um, so let's um, just move along here. Um, so this is a recent um, purchase and um, I uh, was influenced by uh, Jordan of Jordan Acevedo. And I think I'm saying her name right. That's her channel name. And um, I'll link her, uh, her video below where she features this um, style. So uh, as soon as I saw it and saw her show the bag, I had never seen this bag before or never paid attention to it. Um, so this is the um, the Edie bag. And I, as you can see, it's pretty heavily pink, but it has also got um, kind of a green uh, cast plaid in the background. So it's, I think it's called, I think the pattern is Paisley and plaid if I remember right. Um, that's another one I was trying to look up and I couldn't find it. So this is Paisley and pla Plaid, and I don't think it's too old, maybe 2019 or something. Um, maybe maybe a little bit before that, but not too, too distant past. Um, and this is the Edie Satchel. I believe it's called a, uh, the Edie Sat. I know it's the Edie, but I don't know if it's a satchel. Um, but it's got the two uh, grab handles with the metal hardware. Um, kind of the back pocket and um, there you see the plaid on the inside um 
and uh, the Edie's got this sort of um, flap uh, with a magnetic and um, let me get this open here. I've got paper in it, but it's got kind of a, um, a divided interior with a zippered um, middle um, and then a zippered back. Is there any, um, yes, there's two. There's two slip pockets in there as well. So this is recent for me. I just got it um, like a week or so ago. Um, really wanted something in this style and I had been kind of wanting to, also wanted to get something in the um, paisley and plaid, um, but just had never found a bag that I wanted. Um, so this was perfect. Found, I don't remember where I found it. I'm sure it was on eBay um, and wasn't too expensive. So I grabbed it up in really great condition. So that is the first one and um, with the sort of uh, gray green in the background. Um, and then um, another bag that is green is the um, Seawater Blooms. I'm gonna put this in the green category for today. Could be a blue category as well. <laughs> um, this is Performance Twill in the um, multi-strap shoulder bag. So this has a uh, two grab handles. It's kind of almost sim a little bit similar in that. Uh, and then it's got a, um, a crossbody strap as well. I haven't had a chance to use this yet. I got this um, before, I think at Christmas, I think, if I remember right, I think this might have been a Christmas gift for my husband. So this is a performance twill that really wipeable. It has the really um, pretty green sort of tropical looking leaves with the, got the pinks a little bit, but very heavily on the green side. And the, the background is this sort of aqua, um, can come off as light blue, but it is kind of an aqua. So this is seawater blooms. So that is another green bag. Um, this is also something that, um, I would consider to be on the green scale as well as blue, but for me, um, although this is lo looks like it's throwing um, kind of more blue here, but it's very sort of minty green. Um, particularly, I feel like the the background is. It's got the green, a lot of green um, leaves, green stems, and for me, I think this is. Um, kind of shamrocky looking in a way. Um, definitely on the bluer side of green, but definitely. And this is a uh, mini Glenna. Um, I got this recently. Actually, no, this is, I got another mini Glenna, um, but this one I had picked up last summer um, and had not had a chance to use it yet, but now everybody's uh, going crazy over mini Glennas. I pulled it out so I could use it this spring. So there's another green bag. Um, this, um, is a, uh, cargo sling, which is a very, almost the size of the, uh, what was the large on the go? I think it actually is pretty close. Um, and this is in, um, Daisy Daisy. Um, lots of green going on here sort of a geometric pattern. Um, the cargo sling is got a um, rather large um, zip on the back, as well as these two um, Velcroed, very large front pockets. This is a really, really big bag, but it's kind of, um, I like it. Um, there's a lot of patterns that um, I, Wanted, but didn't come in any style that I really am not a big fan of the um, totes from this sort of time period. Um, there's something about them that I, that just don't work for me. Uh, maybe because they're a little bit narrower uh, in depth. Um, but I'm really uh, a fan of these um, wide straps. And uh, so the cargo sling works for me when it's filled. <laughs> it looks a little flat here. Um, there's the inside. There's the um, 
uh, I don't know if this is considered, um, I don't know what the interior pattern is called. I don't think it would be called, there was a daisy dot, but that's not it. Um, daisy ditzy? Let's, let's call it that. Daisy ditzy. I really, really love the interior pattern. I would um, love to get a bag that is uh, in that pattern. So cute. Lots of very happy yellows and lime greens with the blues and the navy. Really like that. So that is um, the cargo sling. Um, I have another cargo sling in another green. Let's see, where did I put it? Um, oh, here it is. Um, this is um, a cargo sling in Botanica. I don't remember what year this is from. I don't have it easily to pull up on my pad. But this is definitely a greener green, um, kind of a grass green. It has more, a little more yellow to it. Um, gorgeous pattern with these really big pink flowers. These really nice, delicate uh, pink little flowers here. And they've got this sort of um, bamboo-looking trim. The interior of it is that really limey green, sort of a geometric pattern going on. The cargo sling also has these side pockets, just like the on the go, like the large on the go. There's my husband coming back with the dog, so I might have to take a break real quick. Um, and then we've got these more like kind of um, blue green leaves going on as well. So very pretty. I really like Botanica and I had a hard time finding a bag in Botanica that I, I didn't like the tote. I didn't like, there was like a Emily or some sort of a small little rounded bag, but it was really too small. I bought that. That was the first thing I bought in Botanica and I ended up getting rid of it because it was just too small for me. It was really, and the strap was super thin. Um, just, just didn't work. So anyway, that's Botanica. Um, I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, so let's move on. Um, this is a um, saddle up, which is a style that I uh, fell in love with. It was one of the first um, bags that first styles that I fell in love with um, when I started buying um, uh, vintage Vera. Um, this is not that vintage, 10 years old. This is 2012. This is uh, Limes Up. And uh, really nice um, citrusy colors. Got some yellow and blue um, with those greens. But yeah, I really like Limes Up. And uh, the Saddle Up bag is one of, one of the bags that I really, really like. Um, I know some people were talking about the metal things, um, um, but I don't think the magnet is that strong that, you know, like you would pull it up and hit yourself. But I know some people don't like it because of that metal ring. Um, but I really do. Um, sorry, I've got like a towel in here to just give it a little shape. Um, so here's the interior of Lime's Up. Lots of greens and blues, um, line drawings of leaves and Actually, I guess they're not trees. They're, they're all leaves in there. That really great lime um, zipper. So yeah, so that is uh, Limes Up. Really love that one. Time to pull that out um, soon. Um, and while we're on um, my Saddle Up um, bags, um, this one, now this is one, I think this is a uh, it's either Rhapsody in Blue or Blue Rhapsody. I think that's the name of it. Um, but it is stunning. I really, really love this pattern. Like this sort of, um, there was a name that I looked up. It's kind of a, like a royal, um, I don't know, not like a shield, but reminds me of like a tapestry, a royal tapestry. Um, with lots of these really great green flower elements got some purples going on in here 
these really deep wine and purple colors with some turquoises, the light blues. So I really, really do like this one. I haven't used this one in a long time. This was one of my first bags as well when I started collecting. There's some other really great greens on the back. Beautiful pattern. I'm getting out all these old bags to do these uh, videos and they, it makes me want to use them all. <laughs> I have enough days in the week. Um, okay. Uh, another um, bag that um, has a lot of green in it is, um, I think this is called Hope. Um, let me see if I can find it in my catalog here. I think it's Hope or Hope Garden. Let's see if I can find it. Darn it. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to. Um, and, um, this was a breast cancer, new hope, new hope. This was a breast cancer pattern. And this is from uh, 2004. Really pretty with all of these, um, lilies of the valley, uh, here, these little white flowers. This is the lily of the valley leaves in the background here with some pink, looks like little pink roses, like, um, shrub roses. And it's got um, the pink ribbons, breast cancer symbol. Um, and then the really green, the pretty green trim with the lily of the valley, little flowers in there. And then the interior has got this green sort of gingham. So this is a, this is a uh, Mimi backpack, um, which I did start collecting some of the Mimi backpacks last summer. Just started falling in love with um, the style. I love the straps. This is the um, the kind of double quilted straps like the, the Vera's have now. Um, and I really like this kind of strap versus the sort of flat cotton that there was um, in some of the earlier bags. Um, so that's what's really kind of drew me to this um, backpack. That's kind of a little purse backpack. Um, so it's got a drawstring and uh, it's got that really great... Um, green sort of gingham interior. So there's another green for you. Um, New Hope. Um, and also, if we go, go along the same um, lines, um, this is another um, Mimi backpack. And um, let's see if I can find this pattern because I don't know this one off the top of my head. There's another green for us. Um, let me see if I can get this one. This is Green Green Greenfield Spring 2000. So this is from 2000. Greenfield. Lots of um, gorgeous trim colors in this. Love, love, love this. I got this last summer too when I was on that binge of buying the Mimi's. Love this um, golden goldenrod sort of yellow with the pinks and the greens. And it's got the um, little pink flowers inside of this pattern with the little um, darker green um, leaf going on that makes it look kind of gr like a grid pattern. Um, the interior of this is also a green and it is more of a very little tiny looks like flower buds and stem work. Really pretty. Love this. So this is like 2000 and it's green leaf. Again with these um, padded, more um, quilted straps. And then the, the top handle, the, car the quilted uh, carry handle. Um, we're getting there. I have, let's see, one two, three, four to go, five to go, <laughs> five to go guys. Um, all right. This is, um, the next two bags are a little bit more on the, um, I would, I would call them on the, the black, you know, they're, they're more black than you would think of them as being green, but I still think they qualify because, um, they just have this, uh, some colors that, um, pop to me as, uh, green. And this is, um, Fruit Grove which is a couple of years old, I think, um, not last summer, but the summer before, 2021, 2020. Um, and 
Fruit Grove has just got these really beautiful watercolory um, flowers that have this green and blue cast to them. Um, really love the that sort of. It reminds me of gumdrops in a way, but these are these are almost shamrocky looking to me, especially if you're not up close on it. But um, I I think this qualifies as uh, being in the green category, the green bag. So this is a small backpack. Um, I also have um, a travel takes that I had gotten in this pattern, and then I have a Carson cell phone. Um, it's, yeah, this is a small backpack. Really cute purse-style purse backpack with this sort of padded, um, the straight padded. Um, and then the interior has this pink, and this is pink and turquoise. Turquoise qualifies as green, right? <laughs> um, there's so many patterns that I don't have that are green. I was looking through this cat, through the the retired patterns and I was like oh there's peacock and you know um yeah so I, I saw like five or six that has it and the emerald I think it's emerald paisley um I think that's the one that I've kind of been hunting for and also um lucky I think it's lucky you with the green shamrocks on it I was hunting for a bag in that um see if I could get one of those for uh this video um, and I also really wanted one in the uh, small trim Vera, but I haven't found it. I haven't found one in good enough condition for me at it at the right price. So um, maybe next year. Um, all right. So here's another bag that um, almost kind of, uh, I would say, falls in the blue side of the bags, but um, definitely has enough green in it for me. Um, and this is the, um, I've got towels in here too. This is... Um, I'm going to say it wrong. Moonlight Garden. Moonlight Garden, not Midnight. Moonlight Garden. And this is the 100 bag in Moonlight Garden. Um, I, uh, oh, I'm, I'm just like sitting here looking at all these bags and going, I want to use that one and I want to use that one. So this is definitely one that's going to be um, on my list to use. I love 100 bags, but I tend to always end up in something else and I haven't used my 100 bags the way I really want to. So the interior of this has the um, the um, lightning bugs, the fireflies, um, and that really green pattern. There's a lightning bug there. Um, so yeah, this is this falls in the green category for me with all of those sort of turquoise and green leaves. Um, I love this, love it. I think this is the only thing I have in in uh, Moonlight Garden, and I should. I should use it. <laughs> I should use it. I should use all my bags, right? Um, okay. Um, three more. Um, I'm going to, um, this is a bag that I got recently um, from one of my Vera friends and uh, from her um, closet. And um, this is, um, now I'm not going to, now the pattern name is not going to come to me. Heirloom Paisley. <laughs> So I think this qualifies to go in the green category, even though it's got a lot of other warmer colors going on with it. Um, there's these um, uh, sort of dark, deep um, blue greens here with the kind of olive greens going on. And you've got an even lighter, sort of a, um, maybe even a celery green, uh, yellowish green in the background there. And then there's these really light um, greens in some of the paisleys. So for me, this qualifies to go in the category of green bags, for sure. So this is a, um, a Hadley, um, a Hadley satchel, I believe. I think this is considered as that one of the Hadley satchels. It's not an on the go. So I think it's just a straight up Hadley satchel with the, um, crossbody strap in this real, um, pretty, um, eggplant plum color. Um, and then these um the same the same fabric and same color in the straps kind of feminine um, and then the interior of this um also qualifies to go in the green category it's got all those um greens here and then the darker evergreens all right um 
I think we're down to the last two bags. Um, so this is um, another um, 100 bag. And um, this is in uh, Vines Floral. And this is just so gorgeous for me. I just love this so much. Here's a lot of, a lot of little green leaves going on here. We've got sort of this um, blue-green um, looking leaves back here. I love this leaf right here. So this is, again, another 100 bag with the, um, the two grab handles. This is one of the, I think this is one of the, uh, one, the, one of the first 100 bags patterns that came with this trim, um, in this configuration, the grab handles feel thinner, narrower, um, than the, the one like that would be in like Foxwood or Garden Grove or um, even the Hummingbird Park that I had showed recently. And also the material is not as quilted um, as the some of the other ones. It just has a, a different feel. It's, it's just a little bit um, squishier. Um, not quite as structured as the other ones were. Um, still has this really great um, wide strap. Um, the interior of this has got sort of the green and purple going on. Um, I've also got um, a, a Gen Zip ID in this and then another kind of wallet that I had picked up. This is one of my early, earliest um, finds at the factory outlet. Um, the first year that I was kind of shopping for Vera. So yes, so this is um, Fines Floral in a 100 bag. All right, we're down to the last bag. <laughs> um, this is a Caribbean, Caribbean Sea. I believe it's Caribbean Sea. I know it's Caribbean, I think it's Sea. And this is a, um, quilted tote. I wanted to call it a glenna, but it's not. It's a quilted tote. It's not, it's very similar to the large glenna that is at the factory um, now, but um, this is the quilted, the quilted tote. It has these great side pockets. The interior does not have a pattern. It is plain. Um, I do believe this is from the time period I don't know if this was a factory pattern. I feel I feel like it's a from the time period when Vera was using plain interiors for a couple of years. I believe that's when this is from, and I know this is in the signature catalog, uh, retired patterns. So I don't think it's a factory, but I always think it is because of that um, plain interior. So this is the um, the pattern Caribbean Sea. At least that's what I'm remembering it as. Um, it's got these um, great sort of celery green, yellowy greens. We've got um, more of a, a, a blue green here and then kind of a, an olive green going on back here, an army green, um, all on kind of a navy background with the other, with the blues. So I really like this um, pattern and uh, the large glenna is really a favorite. So that is it. Um, there's one other um, pattern, um, but I could. I don't think I have a bag in it, um, but um, Jordan made a video um, showing mint flowers. So that's a really great green pattern that Vera has too. I thought I had a bag in it, but I couldn't find it when I was um, pulling bags out for this video. Um, so I'll link her um, video for that below so you can also um, go hunt up that one. Um, as well as uh, any videos where I've um, reviewed any of these bags before. They'll all be linked in the description below. So uh, thanks for hanging out and happy St. Patrick's Day. I've got my uh, cabbage and uh, corned beef um, boiling on the stove um, and some potatoes. So uh, Irish, my husband um, is um, part Irish. Uh, so we're going to have a little Irish uh, dinner and... Um, 
enjoy our evening together. So uh, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.